I bought this over a month ago and it's actually still in its plastic. I've just had it just laying on my shelf and I think after I bought it I just put it there because I didn't want to open it yet. I had really no interest in watching it just yet. I mean I'm a big fan of the other Predator movies. I've seen the other Predator movies. I've, I've seen I've seen Alien vs Predator. I'm a big fan of Predator, that movie. I show that on the DVD right here. I have the special edition of Predator. And this movie, this movie is just great. It has some iconic lines. Get to the Jabba! And yeah, like, I mean, you can't go wrong with Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's like, yeah, that guy can't do wrong. I mean, he plays the Terminator and he plays the guy who killed the, per the Predator. I mean, what's there not to like about that guy? I mean, that guy has been through the wars. And yeah, like, these guys in this movie. It actually feels like they've been rolling around in the mud. It actually looks like they have been through the wars. And this movie, it's, it's, it's shot on location. It's, it feels like these guys have been through the wars. It feels like just, yeah, it, it, it's like there's some really intense music. The, the like, music score in this is absolutely terrific. Um, yeah, and yeah, this is like a must watch if you haven't seen it, but I'm sure any horror movie or at least action or sci-fi nerd out there has seen Predator or if you haven't heard of it or if you haven't seen it you've at least heard of it so yeah that's like yeah in instant favorite right there and one of one of my favorite movies of all time like I remember one day I should watch that movie like twice in one day it was like insane I mean I love that movie that much and that actually happened I actually did watch it um twice in one day it was it's like the movie it never gets boring it's just I don't know what it is it's like once you watch it for the first time, those iconic lights, they just stay with you. Everything in the movie just stays with you. It's a movie that you can never get sick of. Like, if you watch it, like, 30 years from now, you, you, would, it would never, you would never get tired of it. It's, it's that kind of movie to me. And I also own Predators. And this movie, it feels like a rip-off. Because it's like, I, I don't know, it feels like, it feels like kind of like the same movie as Predator and there's some of the same scenes, some of the same lines or well, maybe not the same lines but I, you can just tell, you can just tell they're the kind of like ripping off that one in Predator uh, so I don't know if this movie, it has some original ideas in it and I like that but um, or, or, and also you can't go wrong with Danny Torrio can't go wrong with that guy in Predators he also has some of, one of the most freaky scenes in this movie. Um, I also like this whole idea that they're in this like world, and it's like it's like it's not a part of the of Earth. It's like it's in this like game or something. It's it's actually real like that like, that kind of uh, like uh, like that kind of idea of this like whole sci-fi world that they have there. I like that. That's kind of an original idea that this movie had, but uh, it has some enjoyment. I mean. I, I I mean I, I I like it. Um, I mean it's it's perfectly fine. I mean I think it's kind of ripping off Predator, but I mean I think it's I th it's a fine, perfect, enjoyable watch. So yeah, and as far as the Alien vs Predator movies, I own Alien vs Predator and AVP two Requiem on uh, DVD. I own the uncut version of Requiem. I haven't seen it. The uncut version apparently on DVD it says more blood, more guts, more gore. I'm not sure if that's actually in you know, it. If you've seen the uncut, let me know. Or why should I might just save for when I do watch it? But yeah, I mean, I I love. I mean, I know. I mean, I think the first uh, Alien vs. But I think that's actually a fine watch. It's it has some really great uh, choreographed action scenes in it. Um, I think the Xenomorph designs looked good. I think the stuff, the design of the location. I think just the, the location, the atmosphere. I think is really good. Uh, I think when the alien and the predator is fighting, that's what you're there to see, and it does not disappoint because there's some pretty uh, badass fight scenes that go down in it. As far as Alien vs Predator 2 Requiem, um, I think that's a it's a very hard movie to watch. As in, like the movie, as in it's really dark. As I'm not just meaning as in dark in tone. But as the movie's as in dark, as in, it looks like you turned your TV brightness down to zero. And even if you turn off the lights, it's still hard to see. So, yeah, um, Elvis present, yeah, you can't really see what's happening on screen. For the majority of the movie, I was just looking at a black screen. But I think from what I could clear out, I think the alien and the predator, like, suit designs, I think they look good from what I could clear out. And I think the action scenes, I think they were good. Also, from what I could clear out, because like the movie is like so dark, it's 
hard to even see a damn thing in the, in the movie, but I think from what I could clear out, the action looked fairly decent, the Alien vs Predator designs looked awesome from what I could clear out, but I don't know, I, I wish there was, like, even if you turn your buttons all up to 100, it's still dark as hell, which, I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't know what it is with that movie, I'll, maybe, I, I, I don't know if the lighting crew actually knew how to, you know, light that movie. I wonder if the, um, I'm actually curious to know if the lighting crew, I wonder if they just, like, they were like, nope, we don't want to be a part of this project, and then they quit, and they were like, yeah, let's just do this. It's, I, I don't know, if that did actually happen, that would be a freaking awesome story to tell. But anyways, yeah, I thought I'd just give you, um, my quick thoughts on those further movies. I think they're all... Pretty good. The only one I have not seen is Predator 2. This is the only one I've not seen. Also, just look at that cover, man. I mean, that cover is just gorgeous. That's it's just the whole art design and just like the texture of the title. It, that looks just so gorgeous. That is a gorgeous looking cover. I just look at the back. Just man. I mean, I'm digging that front cover. I mean, that is absolutely gorgeous. That that is gorgeous, man. Yeah, it, it actually looks like the, um, like the person, his holding his spear, looks like he's taking off the city. I just, I, I love the whole art on that. That is amazing. That is just gorgeous, that. I would love to have a poster of that hung up in my, hung up in my wall. That, that's gorgeous, man. It's gorgeous, yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna unbox this, because like I said, it's still in plastic, see? Yeah, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, here, yeah, open this. Yeah. It, it's. I'm um, unsealing the uh, plastic. Oh man, that's gorgeous that art, man. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm like, so I'm digging that front cover, and yeah, I mean, yeah, that's gorgeous that actually, yeah, that's gorgeous. Oh uh, yeah, this movie it has Danny Glover in it. It's a sequel to Predator. I actually have not seen Predator Two, but let's open up inside. Let's have a look at the disc. So yeah, uh, this is my first time actually looking at the disc. Cause like I said, I've not opened it. I've, I've had this movie for about a month. I haven't opened it, it's just been sitting on my shelf, and yeah, I haven't really done anything about this, so I want to do a first experience, if you guys, I want you to see what I see, and I'm going to experience seeing the DVD and whatever else is in this for the first time, I mean, there might be some like little pamphlets or catalogs in it, maybe, I don't know, but yeah, I'm about to see what you see for the first time, are you ready? Let's open it. Okay, the, um, okay, first thoughts, so yeah, there's the, uh, DVD. So yeah, my first thoughts on the Predator 2, did I think it's, I think the texture of the, uh, Predator 2 text, I think that kind of looks good. It's a very, you know, basic, very basic DVD, um, and yeah, there's, yeah, there's no pamphlets or catalogs that usually have them in DVD sometimes, and yeah, this cover, actually only, recently remastered the Predator movies to like 4K and Blu-ray and they made these like really awesome gorgeous covers and I love the cover to the first Predator. I was like looking at the other day on the uh, on JB Hi-Fi website and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Same as Predators. I mean these like these covers I don't know like they only I think remastered them last year and yeah they made these awesome looking covers and yeah I mean yeah, I love the Predator. Uh, cover. I mean, I'm definitely gonna buy that one sometime down the line. Even though I still, even even though I own the the uh, Predator, I wanna I wanna get it for that cover because that cover is just gorgeous. But yeah, this cover is also yeah really gorgeous as well. I mean, just yeah, I mean just like that, that is just yeah with the Predator Predator holding the spear and looks like he's like conquering the seas, taking over the sea. It's just gorgeous. And yeah, on the back it says, The Predator is back. And yeah, it has Danny Glover, it's a sequel to Predator. But yeah, I mean, I mean yeah, like I said, it's a very, it's a very basic DVD. Um, uh, it, it says, uh, aaa.foxmovies.com.au uh, It's rated M. Yeah. But yeah, then, yeah, we, yeah, we mastered them, and they made these awesome, yeah, like, new covers. But yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, that is awesome, and yeah, I've never seen Predator 2, so I can't really give you my thoughts on it, but... I, and I've definitely heard some mixed reviews, I've heard it is quite bloody, I've heard. I've heard that I think it was an R-rated cut of this movie or something, that's actually quite bloody. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, 
I haven't yet. I haven't seen Predator 2. It looks cool. I love the first Predator. Uh, Predators is okay. So, and I'm definitely going to give this a, a watch for sure. But yeah, anyways, yeah, that's my unboxing for Predator 2. Like I said, gorgeous colour. I mean, yeah, that is just great. But anyways, guys, I'm, yeah, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to leave you here. So, yeah, that's my unboxing of Predator 2. If you have seen Predator 2, I'll uh, leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Please don't spoil uh, uh, spoil anything. I mean, I want to watch this uh, for myself and, yeah, and uh, just experience for the first time ever since I haven't yet seen it. But yeah, uh, let, let, let me know also what you think of the other Predator news of the Animus Predator and Predators and Predator. Along with letting, letting me know your thoughts on Predator 2. But yeah, this is going back on the shelf now. But yeah, man, that's it. Like, I cannot get over just like that colour. Man, that's gorgeous, yeah. So yeah, it's going to go back on the shelf now. Right next to the Alien movies. Also, if you guys haven't already, um, go check out my top 10 best horror movies of 2018, along with my horror movies uh, DVD collection, which I just uploaded. I was, I think it was uploading as I'm recording this video, but I'm not sure it will already be up by the time this video is up. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I unboxed all of these movies. I talked a little bit about my history, about my first watch, um, how they affected me. I, I talked some really good stories about some movies. So yeah, I mean, definitely check that out along with the top 10 best horror movies of 2018. My glass review, because I, uh, I recently saw it in Mark Shyamalan's glass. Actually, I saw that movie for a second time uh, last night. And because I was going to see it a second time, and I'm not going to do like a whole spoiler video. Just quickly, just, I'm going to make this little section of the video just talking about glass. For, like, uh, I didn't plan to, but I thought ever since I mentioned it, just why not? But yeah, I watched Glass for the second time last night because because <clears throat> uh, on my first viewing, I didn't understand the twist ending. I didn't understand what that last shot of the movie meant. Spoilers, because I'm sure there's people out there that still yet have to see Glass. So yeah, I'm not going to spoil it because I want you to really go in not knowing really what the twist ending is. But I can say... During my second viewing last night, I can say the twist ending, it makes sense now to me. I understand what it means and that last scene of the movie, that last shot, um, before they, before the end credits roll, that scene, I, that scene, it's clear to me now because it's basically all through the movie they're kind of talking about this specific thing going viral to the world. Uh, I can't tell you what that is and... Yeah, it makes sense to me now, the twist, and yeah, I think, um, I think the first thing around, I mean, I, I think I was going in with, with my expectations, with, oh, because, like, I mean, I always hyped for Glass, I mean, I love Unbreakable, I mean, actually, no, Unbreakable's a masterpiece, I love Split, and yeah, I, I, I love all those characters, I love David Dunn, and I love, I love uh, Samuel L. Jackson's character, and James McAvoy's character, and yeah, I mean, I'm, I mean, I've been on M. Night, Sh on M. Night Shyamalan's side since, I mean, I have my own opinions on him as a director, and I think he's a, well, I think he knows how to craft a great movie, because I think a lot of the movies that, uh, that critics hate, like, for example, like Happening, people were smashing that because the twist is revealed, like, 20 minutes into that movie, but no, I thought that movie was actually very entertaining, that's a guilty pleasure. To me, I mean, I can watch it because it's like it's completely, it's completely like absurd. It tries to be dark, and there are some definitely some dark scenes and some rough, I guess, rough scenes to watch in that. And yeah, I mean, I have my own opinions on him, like as a director and just on his movies. And I've been on his side. I think he's a, I think, for, I think, I think for a guy who gets a lot of hate, I think, I mean, I think he deserves the respect for at least putting himself out there and making movies. And um, I mean, yeah, I love a lot of the movies that critics like hated, like um, yeah, uh, like Mark Wahlberg's, uh, The Happening, The Village. Yeah, like they they were movies that got very like critics were just slamming them like 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 there was no other movie existed so yeah but yeah glass I feel like you need I feel like I went into it with high expectations the first feeling because like I said, I, I think Unbreakable was a masterpiece I love Split 
And the second viewing, I was like, okay, put all my expectations. I know how the movie's going to wrap up, so let's put all that aside and let's really just like analyze the movie. It's I'm just going into it like mind blanked, not knowing what's going to happen without no expectations. And and at, at that when it got to that twist, and I, I was just really like kind of really analyzing. Uh, each thing I did not know what it meant the first time and then all the second time it just yeah, clicked with me I'm like oh okay so okay I understand that now you know, I understand that I feel like everything I didn't understand in the first viewing I understand in the second viewing and as far as does that change my thoughts on glass um it's it makes it make more sense I think in my in my opinion I mean like don't let this like I say it's my opinion don't let this like stop you from watching glass I still think it's a must watch like go support and that Shama because this is his third final climactic chapter in the Shyamalan superhero saga that he's started with Unbreakable Split and now glass so yeah don't let this my opinion yeah like let you not watch uh, uh, glass um, but I think the twist ending in Glass, I think it's probably the worst one out of Unbreakable and Split, because it's, it's the one that I, I was like, when I, when that twist ending was playing out, I was just like, okay, I'm not shocked, and that's in the first viewing as well, I was not shocked, or I was not like, <gasps> like with Split and Unbreakable, I was like, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, <laughs> like, I was like, yeah, that's it, but then with my reaction to glasses, I think it's the worst one, because I was just like, hmm, okay then, hmm, yeah, it didn't really surprise me, it didn't shock me, but yeah, I think it's the worst twist ending out of uh, Unbreakable and Split, but yeah, like I said, don't let that put you down, like I said, if you are a fan of In That Shaman, or if you like Unbreakable and you love Split, I think Glass is definitely gonna, it's gonna give you, I think, what you want. I think it's also going in, I think it's definitely a sequel to Unbreakable and Split. I know I said in my review that it was more of a Split sequel, and I think it's kind of mixed because there's some scenes that feel like it's un it's an unbreakable sequel and then there's some scenes that feel like it's a split sequel. So and I might do a spoiler talk but um, because look, there's so much in that ending that I want to talk about. And I think another really great element that I actually loved about Glass is it, is, uh, is it had never seen before uh, uh, deletion scenes from Unbreakable. I think that was some really cool scenes to uh, to see like 20 years later on the big screen and yeah i think they look all all good for at least a 20 uh for a movie that happened 20 years ago i think here yeah, the donation scenes look great and i didn't really notice that they were donation scenes there is that little like nodge that you are in unbreakable so yeah i mean so yeah like there were some scenes, like I said, that feel like an Unbreakable sequel, there were some scenes that feel like a Split sequel, but I feel like the first act, I feel like that feels like an, un uh, I feel it's like a Split sequel, so, yeah, I know, but yeah, I guess, yeah, they are my thoughts on that twist ending, like I said, this, I'm sure there's still some of my audience that want to see the loss, so I can't say spoilers, but I can say that that twist ending, it makes sense to me now, it just took out like a second viewing because I think I, w I went into it a second time with with I think zero expectations just knowing how movies going to wrap up and I feel like that helped me enjoy it and I feel like a uh, glass it's it's not the worst movie I've seen it's actually rather enjoy it I mean my brother and my dad they were like they hated it so yeah I mean I, I actually rather enjoy it. I think it's one of the best movies this year so far so yeah, we're only in January, we still have like a whole year to go through, so this movie might be on my top 10, uh, by the end of the year it might not be, we'll see what happens, but as for right now, I guess it's probably the most uh, enjoyable movie, I guess that might be the word I'll use here for now, is one of the most enjoyable movies I've seen, but yeah, it, it did disappoint in some ways, for sure, like, it's not a perfect movie, I think the last 20 minutes, I think they're still disappointing to me. About some time, I think the the twenty minutes like it, it's still fun when it's playing out. But yeah, 
Yeah, so yeah, they're my thoughts on my second viewing of Glass. So yeah, I'm sorry that this video was kind of a lot longer. It was just going to be like a Predator 2 DVD unbox, but it tended to be a, uh, a Glass video as well, which is all good and fine. But yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your night, and I'll see you in the next movie review.